Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days. Day 30, we got here. Can you believe it? Still some blue. Um, here is yesterday's splat. You see some sheen on there. Not an overwhelming amount. It is coming through in the writing in the heavier spots. So like the down strokes here, but not the side or the up. Beautiful. Vibrant blue. It reminds me, I think, of Ice Rink by Birmingham Panko and many others, but that's the one that I have. However, oh, I didn't write inked on this. So I'll have to do that later. I have the pen. Let's pick our last ink of the month. Man, I was like, man, I bet I'm going to use up all my samples. Who am I that I thought that? Someone who can't count. Shimmer. Oh, how about this one? Do we mulligan the last one? Nope. Not allowed. I'm only thinking that because of a pen match for it, and that's kind of silly. You know. So today's ink is Octopus Fluids Brilliant Rot. If you're watching Simona, let me know how I did. I tried. Lesson learned, never try. I keep looking as though I'm gonna like magically find a pen that this works in. So we'll go with one that is like, wait, what? I mean, I do have one I could put it in it. You chose. Move on, Maria. Move on. I don't know if I'll be able to fill. We'll try. Should we try the regular fill? Day 30. Um, I get sad at the end of things. Sometimes I actually, I get sad before the end of things. So like, suppose you have a weekend trip somewhere. I'll start getting sad on Saturday. Because I'll be like, oh my gosh, it's almost Sunday. And Sunday is almost Monday and it's the end. I recognize that that's somewhat foolish, and yet here we are. Somewhat foolish could be like a name. Mm -hmm. No ink. I mean, did we expect any? I didn't really, but I thought I would try. It's a smaller, you know, it's a shorter nib. Sometimes that works. Sometimes. This will be the, the video in which I have to pause once my kettle starts whistling. It's hopefully slightly before. Oh, we got ink. Can you see? Hi, can you focus on the pen, please? Maybe you can't see anyway. Well, it's pretty full. Oh, and now the timer runs. Literally, till my tea is done, steeping.
So I started listening to the audiobook. It's called Raven Black, maybe, by Anne Cleves, the one on which the show Shetland is based on. I'm not quite sure why I did this because it's a pretty bleak show and blah, blah, blah. Book is a lot like the show, except for like an important difference, which I won't get into. I'm no spoiler. No, I can tell you. There's this one character who's an old, uh, old man who lives alone in a sh sort of shed, it sounds like. Um, he figures more prominently in the book so far. Like you get inside his, you get to hear his thoughts. So this is octopus, fluids, brilliant, hot. Hey, wait, this is appropriate because I think they're a German company. Huh. In my, let's see, Pelican M205 Moonstone with a medium nib. Which, um, I'm going to be honest, does not feel bouncy to me. Some people will have said that their Pelican nibs feel bouncy. but Maybe because I try not to press hard. I have a death grip on my pen, but I don't push hard. Or I try not to. Okay. Here we are. Over here. Like, I keep... It's fine. I think by day 30 I'd know where to put things. Mm -mm. All right. 30 inks. This is going to start turning bluish purple because of the splatter. Can't wait. 30 days. Day 30. Well, I'll tell you, this is brilliant, and it is hot, hot, hot. One of those will have to have been right, right? Maybe? All right, it's splat at the end of the road. Ooh, I like that we made it, like, subtle. It's not going to stay that way. We're going to get more. More, more, more. Oh, timer just went. Did you hear it? Let me know. Could you hear it? Can you hear it? Ha, ha, ha. Missed the cap, like, tumbling. Hey, look. Some non pulp got in there. Look, we tried. It kind of looks like something Dexter would investigate, right? Isn't that his job? Dry now. You go there. You come here. Because we have to do this. I had to pause the video if we couldn't so that we could, so it could dry.
I love if it, the idea that if you don't know that Holt is red and you think it's like brilliant rot, like what are you picturing? You know, like something gory? What makes this rot more brilliant than other rot? Did you know that rot meant red? I mean, it's not rot. It's the word that I tried to say, but who knows if I got it right. Y'all, look at it! Look at it! Ugh. We did it! Thank you to all of you who've been here the whole time. Thank you to all of you who caught a few seconds here and there. Thank you to all of you who might discover this in the future. <sighs> Later, we're going to have to like think about what our favorites are. I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to think of the answers for me. So be prepared. You didn't know there would be a quiz later, and here I am surprising you with it. Except for it's not a pop quiz. I'm telling you that it's going to come in the future. So, you know, that's nice of me. Pop quiz hotshot. All right. Here we are. Day 30. We've come to the end of the road. But I can't let go. Anyway, you know that's not true. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.